What's good everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video we are back reacting to your guys' music and today we have Cedar. So, let's go ahead and jump into this reaction and see what we think. If you guys are new to these videos, basically, y'all send me your music, I react to it, give my personal opinion and feedback on the music and see if we vibe with it or not. So, I'm excited for this reaction because we have a music video and I love when people send me music videos and have a visual component to the music as well. I think it makes it more fun to watch and entertaining. So yeah, let's get it. I kill you. Dude, I like the visual aspect to it. I really like the music video. Good edits. I know that's not really feedback on music, but I just, I love music videos. I think they're so cool and so fun to watch. Okay, so as far as the music, you got the, the, the underground, the, the, the dark, the dark tone, the dark vibe that we know and love. So I think your flow was pretty decent. I'm going to go ahead and give the flow a 6.5 out of 10. Uh, the beat was all right. Uh, it didn't really stand out to me as a beat. Um, it's not one of my favorite beats, but it wasn't bad by any means. I'm going to go ahead and give the beat a 5 out of 10. Uh, it was solid beat, and you used it uh, in a good way that uh, matched with the beat. I'm going to go ahead and give the lyrics a 6 out of 10. Let's go ahead and jump over to the other song, though. So the other song that he sent to me, that was Window, by the way, in case you guys are curious. I don't think I said it in the beginning, but uh, the next song that we have is called Turn Me Up, and there's no music video for this one or nothing, but um, yeah, let's go ahead and listen to this one. Seems like another short one at like 1 minute 37 seconds, so uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see what we think. Pass it like pass me the ratchet, we do the boy wrong like this shit is a habit, we snatch it, we take off your chain with the hatchet, no head on your shoulders, got blood on your jacket, got blood on your jacket, I fuck with the fashion, the fashion is shot on my nigga, nomadic, it's tragic, the fuck I'm a duty, you maggots, it's tragic, we beat that bush off with a static. Right, you know, right, right into it. You didn't even get an intro, bro. Turn me up, boy. 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 Don't to dust my boy. Like it's Haiti, huh? We're like the ship in the Navy, huh? We can aim shit at your body, then turn it up. 
I get whatever nigga. Okay, I will say, as a listener, I don't tend to listen to very aggressive music like this, and you have a very aggressive style, so you just jumped in, it's very, which is obviously the vibe that you're going for, however, that I do tend to listen to more, I would say, chill music, so keep that into consideration when I give you my rating. It did seem a little bit repetitive uh, with the lyrics, um... Obviously, that's very common in this sort of genre. They can really take one word and just, like, say it literally, like, 120 times for the whole song and just be like, fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up, and you're just for the whole song, you know what I mean? So that is that is not uncommon within this um, sort of genre, sort of style. However, I, uh, I like to see more switch-ups and, uh, you know, changes within the song. So... There is that. Flow is pretty decent, though. Um, you, you, you seem to have your flow and your whole vocals and voice figured out, which I think is cool and it sounds good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give the flow a 7 out of 10 on this one. Again, I'm not a too big of a fan of the beats, and that's probably because I do prefer a more uh, chill-sounding beat and a more chill vibe when it comes to beats. I'm going to go ahead and give the beat on this one a 4 out of 10. I'm going to go ahead and give the lyrics on this one a 3 Point five out of 10. And I say this in every video. I'm very uh, picky when it comes to lyrics. I think lyrics uh, are important in music and more so than other people. I, I do really find myself uh, very oriented on the lyrics and what the person is actually saying um, to, as opposed to where some people when they listen to music, they don't even really hear what the person's saying and they're more involved in the beat and the flow and uh, kind of grooving in that groove, which is just another sort of way that people kind of listen to music, obviously, and experience it. But that is why I'm giving you a lower rating uh, with the lyrics. So anyways, we have one more song to react to by him, and this is how it goes. See, this beat already sounds a little more chill. We At least we get an intro. I got all this cash and I never fuck a hoe If I throw out 50 bags Shout out Nikki, throw some more We get cash, got a bowler Cause we never fold, no He can't run down We was dry like G.I. Joe Cause we dry like G.I. Joe Hey, stay up with the boys Hey, I like this shit This one, bro This is what I'm talking about cash and he don't ask where it goes Hey, fuck the rift to scale This one was actually my favorite. And it's funny because when he sent me these, he was uh, too focused on the other two first. And he's like, if you got time, you can try to squeeze in that other one. I'm glad that I squeezed in that other one, Matt, because that other one is my favorite. And I really liked the beat on this one as well, which I think just made it better. On this one, I'm going to give the beat a 7.5 out of 10. I think it was a cool beat. Um, it sounded really cool. And you used it really well. And it was more chill. It had a little bit of an intro, whereas opposed to just like jumping aggressive like... Push, like, the first time I listened to the other one, literally, like, it, like my headphones were so loud, like, I straight up jumped. Like, I, it scared me, like, when it just came on so quick. This one, I at least had a nice little intro. You were kind of a little more bouncy on it, a little more vibey. And that's the kind of stuff that I like to hear personally. So this one definitely was my favorite. As for the flow on this one, I'm going to go ahead and give the flow on this one a 7.5 out of 10. It's pretty solid. I also do like the lyrics on this one better as well. I'm going to go ahead and give the lyrics a 6.5 out of 10 on this one. So yeah, overall, I think the aggressive style that you are going for is good because that is the uh, the style that you're going for and your voice fits it well and for the most part your flow fits pretty well on uh, the beats that you're choosing as well. As for constructive criticism that I would give you as a listener, I think that you could step up the beat game, you could find better beats like this end beat I liked a lot better, uh, just more like cool sounding beats I guess, I would work on the beat selection but that's just me personally. I think that for the vibe you're going for, 
it's pretty good, man. Not too much constructive criticism other than there's something, there's an, there's an aspect of like chillness in this that you mask with aggressive that doesn't overpower where I feel as the aggressiveness in the other two were a little bit more overpowering. Maybe it's because the beat was more chill and you had more of like a vocal uh, aggression. Whereas I think the other beats were also like aggressive. It was like a more aggressive beat. So I think pairing your aggressive sort of tone and flow would uh, fit better on a sort of calmer beat. Uh, so that way you don't get too much clash and too much like aggressiveness um, unless obviously that's what you're going for. Um, but that's just kind of my two cents on the whole music. If you guys want to check out Cedar and are into this sort of hard trappy sound, go ahead. His links will be in the description. Check him out. Show him some love. And uh, if you guys want a chance for your music to be reacted to, uh, reach out to me on Instagram and we can see if we can work something out. And yes, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace and love.